So exciting stuff has been happening, but first maybe let's brew some tea. So this is easily becoming one of my favorite teas to have in the morning. Green tea, I'm not really a green tea girl. Blacks, some blacks, and oolong teas, then let's talk. So guys, we are almost at 10,000 subscribers. And first off, I just wanna say thank you to everyone who subscribed. I realize there's not really much of a community on my channel. Um, so I believe that possibly a big margin of you guys just follow me for my art videos silently watching um just grabbing any tips and tricks that you can and as that is fine that is perfectly fine i effectively i don't have a strong community and i know there's a few of you who consistently watch my videos and leave a lot of comments on some of some of my other videos as well but it's primarily art and i'm kind of in that weird space now where i kind of want to steer the channel to be a bit more lifestyle-y so as I said in my other videos I cannot schedule doing art every single week it's just art for me is just it's just a feeling that just comes and when I want to do it like I want to do it but I'm definitely grateful for the growth of the channel it's been about maybe two years since I've started posting and I started the channel when I really needed it in my in um in a certain time of my life and honestly it has become Art has become a therapy for me and I've just filmed it, vlogged it on YouTube and it's done surprisingly really well. And given the fact that textured art as well has become increasingly popular, um, it has done very well for itself. So I'm very proud of the channel and I'm very proud of myself, I guess. But yes, regardless, we are almost at 10,000. Hopefully when I put then we are closer to 10,000 and that is why i wanted to celebrate by just going back to basics you know i was re watching my old videos of how i used to film and i didn't really have like a good setup and i got a studio i don't know if i ever mentioned it in any of my videos but there was one point where i actually got an art studio there was one video where i was like okay i'm gonna manifest this year that i'm gonna get an art studio and i had the art studio but I just didn't spend enough time there and um, it wasn't, I just didn't feel like I was in my creative element when I was there. Plus I felt like a lot of people could relate making art at home and me doing art on my living room floor using an old bed sheet. I thought people loved that and um, I thought today, let me just go back to the older videos where I'm filming on a floor and those were the videos where I honestly had the most fun. I felt like me being in the art studio, it did feel a bit forced a lot of the time. Um, and as soon as I got the art studio, something changed. Like all the creative juices just dried out. Yeah, to celebrate 10,000 subscribers, I thought, let me just do a little bit of art. Um, nothing too crazy. I just want to do something simple, something that's really easy going. The piece that I want to make, ideally, I do want to make it black. So I'm going to film the first half today and then probably finish up tomorrow and then upload the video for you guys. Also, good news, this piece that I did, I think I did it maybe a few months ago. This one, it finally sold on Etsy. Like I forgot I even had it up and 
one day I was at work and I was like, oh my God, it's sold. So thank you to the person who bought this. I will be shipping this out once I get the appropriate packaging because, you know, can't trust delivery men. And um, yeah, thank you. Okay, so we're going back to the basics. And like I said, I don't want to do anything too crazy. Um, I just want to do something really simple, like maybe a kind of stroke here and a stroke here. And like when I say simple, I mean simple. So also, I don't want to think too much today when I'm doing the art. Like I feel like, I don't know about you guys, but I just feel like because there are a lot of people doing textured art nowadays, there is sometimes there is like a subconscious pressure in the back of your mind to create this really amazing piece this piece where I should have the most perfect curves, um, that it should be textured in all the right places. And honestly, I don't feel like that's what textured art is about. So today I just wanna make an art piece that is just simple and just whatever my brain tells me to. Okay, so we are going super simple today and we are going back to basics. So what I have is the all-purpose filler. Again, I'm... I realize that a lot of you guys are like, what is filler? I have no idea what filler is. Filler is just polyfiller. In the UK, we call it polyfiller. In the US, I think they call it speckle. Um, but it's literally the thing that you use if there is cracks or plaster cracks or any drill holes that you use in your wall and you just want to fill it up again. So I don't know what it's called in some of other uh, the other countries but in uk we call it polyfiller some people use other materials like joint compounds and things like that but for the time being because we are uk we are going to be using polyfiller so i haven't used this in uh <laughs> quite some time it's separated but that's okay guys like if it's like this it does look a bit shitty but it's all right because we will fix this so i'm only going to be using a little bit and if you haven't watched my video of the perfect recipe then i probably suggest you go and watch that one if you want to use it for a more larger piece but for this one i'm just going to be using a little bit because i'm not going to do nothing too crazy and also, the my recipe does not crack, guys. I don't know why people are commenting on, on my recipe video saying, oh, but does it crack? Does it crack? Of course it doesn't crack. Why would I offer you advice and give you a, a recommendation of my own recipe if it doesn't work? So no, this recipe does not crack. I'm just going to add a little bit of PVA. And just be a bit hard um but it just needs a bit of mixing it's probably just a bit dried out because i didn't actually cover it properly also i'm not going to add paint in because i want this piece to be dark to be black so i'm gonna paint it black Look at that, see? Nice and soft now. But we don't want it too soft because if it's too soft, I don't feel like it will sit nicely on the board. You can just give it a go. Yeah, see, I feel like that's a little bit too much PVA, which is fine. We'll just add a bit more. I want it to have that kind of stiffness to it as well but not like this this is too stiff and that was too, way too runny okay this looks good yeah that looks good okay so nothing too crazy Also, my canvas has gesso on it. 
it has been painted and primed with gesso twice so if anyone asks me in a comment don't you have to gesso your canvas yes you do but the canvases that i bought has already come primed twice I feel like it's really blocky. Okay guys, I feel like just starting again. One of the good things about this um, recipe as well is that it doesn't set instantly and you can easily just scrape it off without it crumbling. I remember in my first videos every time I tried to scrape something off it would just crumble because it's so dry already. Guys, I've overcomplicated it and now it's not a simple piece anymore and I keep trying again and again but I guess it's okay. I feel like this is nice. What we've got going on here is nice. Because ideally I just wanted something where it would be something in the middle and then I'd paint it all black and then I'd varnish it with either a matte or a gloss kind of look. I mean, this is not bad. I kind of, I, I like this. I, I like, I think I'll leave it like this. All right, let's not do any more. And then all these bits along the side, we can just scrape off because it's drying out. Benji, do not touch the art. Hey, come here. Hey, come on. Thank you. So remember when it comes to leftover materials, you just want to make sure everything is airtight sealed and put, um, put a plastic cling film over it as well and then put the lid on. Okay, and here is a look. I mean, it, tomorrow it will dry hopefully. And then I will paint it and varnish it and show you guys tomorrow. So it's the next day and the painting has now fully dried. Um, it literally dried probably an hour later so it dried really quickly there are some bits that I actually want to scrape off so if you remember the absolute palaver that happened yesterday I just couldn't decide on what I wanted to do so there was a lot of pasting and then taking off and pasting taking off something like this I don't necessarily want but just any bits that are not meant to be here I mean something like that is okay so this is the paint that I'll be using I'll be giving it a couple of layers I've ordered the varnish so hopefully it comes in time well, hopefully by this afternoon today.
do we like it glossy because the current varnish that i actually have is gloss so this is actually what it would look like it will give it that kind of wet look which i'm not sure if i'm too keen on Excuse the hair, I did not expect to be on camera today, but I am so sorry, guys, to tell you that because the varnish is not here and Amazon did not come through by 4 p.m., I will have to make the video, the varnish video, in a second part. Um, hopefully that will be in a few days and we can just do it like it will be such a short video, guys. I will literally just be like, here's the picture, here's the canvas before and here's how it looks like after but i'm sorry you'll have to stay tuned for the next video to see that part anyways i hope you guys enjoyed that video again thank you so much for 10k subscribers hopefully like i'm maybe a few away after when i post this out tonight uh but yeah thanks for the journey and comment let's build a community it really it really makes me sad when i realize i don't have a community and i feel like i've said that ample times in this video but I really want this channel to grow into like a really nice space so yeah oh here's how it looks like on varnish it's actually really nice glossy but I know if I use the gloss varnish then it it, it will look too shiny for me so the matte I'm, I'm having good hopes for the matte varnish